In this video, I want to talk about teams that 2K needs to add into NBA 2K24, the newest 2K game that will come out this year. Look, there's already types of teams that you know about. You can do all-time teams, you can do WNBA teams, and regular current NBA teams. But I want to go even deeper than that. What kind of teams can 2K add that I think would be really, really cool? I want to cover that in today's video. If you like this kind of content, please run the pack and subscribe and let's get it, man. So the first team is college teams, specifically all time college rosters. So I've discussed college rosters before in these videos. If you really like go into it, 2K has technically added college teams before. In my career, you can play for UT or wherever you wanted to specifically play for going into a season in multiple different like years of NBA 2K franchise, right? So it's existed before. It's not like this like a concept that they could never do. They could add maybe even current college teams right now, and it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. But what would be way more interesting as a fan to play the game would be all-time college rosters, maybe like the 30 greatest franchises ever. You can make all-time rosters for them. UT would have Kevin Durant and LaMarcus Aldridge. You could go to UCLA where they would have Bill Walton, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Russell Westbrook. There's many, many, many schools that you could do that would have at least like 10 NBA players that were pretty good. That would make the team really, really fun to use. UNLV with Sean Marion. So many different rosters, so many different schools that you could add that would be fun. And like, again, a lot of people who play basketball, like basketball, are from one of those big colleges. So they would play NBA 2K and would love to play for their school's greatest players of all time. Now, I couldn't do that because I'm from UTSA, so they probably wouldn't even have a team for me because like there's no one that's even remotely good from there. But it'd be cool to be a fan of, let's say, you know, I'm from Texas, so maybe I'm an A&M fan, maybe I'm a UT fan, and I could enjoy playing with those teams. They've actually already done this before. So 2K used to have DLC that you could pay to do all time teams. I think that for example, they had Georgetown that had Allen Iverson and Patrick Ewing. From my understanding, I don't have that like for hundred percent fact, but I know they used to have it as a DLC. It probably shouldn't be a DLC. If 2K can add it as like basically free content when the game comes out, I don't think anybody would be like annoyed by that. And they could even add players that were great in college that necessarily weren't great in the NBA and put them on. I think that'd be a super, super cool idea. I think they should do it for sure. The next one at number two is G League teams. Now I'm sure a lot of you are like, Pac, G League teams are already in 2K. So yes, the team name and logo, and when you go to the roster, the G League teams are already there, but the rosters are not there. And that's the biggest issue for me. If I want to play a G League player, see, oh, I'm going to keep it real. I don't know many G League players because no one watches the G League. Let's just keep it real. Okay, let's say Scoot Henderson, right? One of the biggest prospects coming into the NBA season. Scoot Henderson looks really, really cool. They already have the team in 2K. They already probably have the rights to the player. Why can't I just play with Scoot Henderson right now? Why do I have to wait for him to go into the NBA? I just want to use him now. That would be sick, right? Like, wouldn't that be awesome to use Scoot Henderson right now at like 70? I don't know how old he is. So 18, whatever. It'd be way more interesting to play with him now as like a prospect and see if he actually ends up being that good and then wait into the new 2K game where he's a rookie. I want to check it out. Why not? They already have the G League rosters and it would be specifically great for my NBA. Like if you want to do my NBA rosters or, or like an entire season where you're just like simulating a season, you could have actual players either go to the G League, come out of the G League, into the NBA. It'd be way better. And there's even really cool G League players that like have little niche things that only they do. For example, Xavier Simpson's a six foot point guard that does post hooks, hook shots consistently and is like a bucket. How cool would it be to see him enter the NBA and try that in the NBA as like a 70 overall? Wouldn't that be really cool? Well, the only way to check that out is if they were to add G League rosters like that. That's that's the, the real issue that I want them to add G League rosters for, personally. At number three, the next teams I think they need to add is international teams. So there's two teams I think that they could do. Either they could do the current FIBA national teams or all-time national teams so for example right now the australian national team of patty mills and ben simmons will be pretty fun to use they were always pretty good in the olympics i'd be totally down to use them right 
they've had national teams before. They had the Australia team before, and they had Team USA before as well. That's it was like a big reason why I think 2K17 was popular was because they were promoting these national teams. Not only did they have the current national USA team, but they also had the dream team as well with Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, etc. Wouldn't that be sick? You would have all the custom, like historical USA jerseys. You have the current team right now. You have historical, maybe like championship or I guess gold medal winning teams before. That'd be sick. On top of that, there's so many international teams that have been so successful. And if you were to do all time, like all time teams, there'd be so, like Serbia would be stacked because you would have Pekovic, you would have Peja Stojakovic with Jokic. Like there'd be so many good international teams that have all time been successful like probably germany with like, you have dennis schroeder and dirk nowitzki like that'd be sick tell me that would be so cool to try out i think you know this is something that i've wanted for a really long time i've always made the custom roster but i want to see the actual flag and i want to see the actual jerseys added into the game with the players in their all-time stuff i think that'd be way better than having to make a custom roster for it up next is the euro league teams now these are teams that 2k used to have and they removed them so the reason why they removed them is because no one was really using those rosters uh, it had real madrid it had barcelona it had the israeli team it had so many different teams the turkish team from so many different countries it was the euro league complete roster now the reason why no one used it was two reasons first euro league obviously isn't as popular as other leagues but second a lot of the players i argue like 80 percent of the players in that roster were created players not real players so it didn't really feel that interesting to use because all the players kind of sucked okay to be fair but if they actually made a fledged out complete roster of EuroLeague with everyone with their correct ratings, jerseys, rosters, badges, but on top of that have EuroLeague rules, I think that would be way more interesting than having nothing and removing it no matter what. I don't know if 2K will do it because they used to have it and they don't have it before, so, so clearly 2K doesn't want them anymore, but I mean, an example of like having Luka Doncic when he was 16 in the Real Madrid team and then seeing him grow up to be in the NBA now is actually like a really cool thing to look back on. I wish we could have more situations like that. And another example was Guy Panini was like this legend in 2K because he was the lowest rated player in 2K. He was like a 47 overall for years. And like, I loved using him because he like, he sucked, right? On top of that, it'd be way more interesting for my career story if this time you start off in like Europe and like you're on the European teams and you have to come to the United States and like be like a Luka Doncic story, right? That'd be, that'd be super cool too. And even on top of that, they used to have the China teams in my career where you have to start off in China and they had the Shanghai like Sharks, I believe. And so they have so many different teams that they could add on internationally, EuroLeague, all those kinds of stuff that we would love to try on play. And it wouldn't be that bad, right? The final teams at number five are celebrity teams, maybe even like YouTubers, anything like that, I think would be sick. So back in the mid to 2010s, 2K games had celebrity teams. Now these teams included Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, other players like singers, rappers, actors that are interested in basketball. So a great example right now, J. Cole, Drake. These are two people that are like directly involved in basketball on a yearly basis that we all hear about that would specifically be interesting to have in 2k now obviously they wouldn't have amazing ratings or anything or they wouldn't you know probably probably most of them probably can't even dunk but it'd be cool if you know people really like a celebrity and they can use them in 2k why not and even on top of that why not 2k youtubers because they're also popular like imagine all the years we could have used chris smooth in 2k i think people would have loved that or even even the double down on that imagine using chris smooth's like my career player he would be nasty it'd be so fun to use those specific players and specific youtubers i think everybody would want to try the celebrity team at least once just to see how fun they are now that is it for my video those are the teams that i think 2k needs to add what do you think leave it in the comments below and if you like this channel please give it a sub i'll see you guys next time